Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight is basically a, we'll call it a pre-review. So, we'll just clear one glass out of the way. Right. Put down it. Put it out of the way. Wife won't realise I've been drinking. So, obviously, this is... And I've just reminded myself that I've got to put the uh, second lot of findings in. This is Barola uh, from a wine kit, or Nebbiola as they call it for some reason. I think it's um, some sort of um, copyright thing. But it is Barola. This hasn't been stabilised and it hasn't been had findings in. But I had, I got the barrel of it and then... What I've also done is got some into a two litre bottle and an half, just over half a one litre. In fact, that's probably a full size bottle if I'm being right. So, I'm going to pour it out, see how it cook, how it looks. Pour a full glass out of it, why not? Why not? It's Christmas. Ooh. So I've just done a little bottle of wine review, I've done a, a sign review, and uh, while I'm waiting, I thought I'd do this. So, here it is. Slightly, uh, there is a, a, bit of, a little bit of cloudiness to it, if I'm being right. Lovely dark colour. Um... I'm right this could do with that's weird um, so this is a pre-review because obviously really wants the, sh the findings add into it and uh, you know settling down but we'll give it a taste just see what it tastes like I hope it's not nasty my wife spent 30 quid on the kit. Ooh. So this was getting towards the bottom of the of the fermenting bucket. So that's it's that's why it's looking so cloudy. Um, if I'm being honest, it's a little sweet for what it should be. It shouldn't be sweet. It should be dry. Uh, the filings and the stabilizer should. Um, knock the rest of it out. It's had 10 days, so it's had plenty of time to ferment. Not getting the, the oakiness that you normally get with a, with a Barola. So at the moment, it's a slightly disappointing red wine. You know, it's not as good as it should be. There is, in the taste, there is elements there where you can taste the, the, the decent side of it coming through. But it is played a little bit by the um, a little bit of sweetness. It may be just because it's getting close to the sediment layer that was in there. And uh, you will get that, obviously, with, with, you know, when you get close to the sediment. So... Um, this is why it's a pre-review. Taste-wise, it's, I would say at the moment, it's quaffable. It's not as quality as I would, you know, rather it be. Which is why I'm going to let it 
uh, I'm going to put the findings in in a bit let it settle for a day bottle it and then do a review uh, with home brew kits obviously like all wines uh, you can drink them straight away that's by the by um, but as they age they do get better and I've found that with all my homebrew kits and wines I've made you know all my homebrew wines I've made they get better with age and uh, so the longer you you know you let them age in the bottle you know it's better for them so obviously this is just it's not even had the stabilizers and findings added to it so it's um that's why there's still a bit probably a bit more sugary content than there should be Although towards the end I got a proper tang of the you know the barola coming through mm. so out of five being as it's just a pre-review Um, could have a good alcohol content uh, good colour really you know the colour was there um, obviously there probably was sediment there bloody hell it's it man Jesus I can feel it I feel abbreviated yeah or oh, oh, there's a word begins with P I feel it anyway um, yeah so, mm. so I've got two bottles that I'm going to leave. They they aren't being touched. They're going to be it's basically an experiment just to see how how uh, unstep bottles that have not been stabilised. I'd stabilise all findings in versus bottles that are had that have just to see what the difference is um, obviously it probably needs to settle a bit more and a, bit, a day's worth of settling should a, a, some of that sediment if there's any in there should should drop whereas the stuff that gets the findings added to it should drop quite quickly and uh, when I actually bottle it all up should be quite interesting so I'm probably going to bottle in a couple of days time I'm going to leave it for a couple of days let the findings settle not a problem if I want to taste the red, taste the Barolo, I've, I've got some on, on there already redder, which is great for me. Right, so out of five. Oof. I'm going to give it. Hmm. I'm going to give it a 4.0 out of five at the moment. And that's for a, that's a pre-review so basically a review without doing all the necessary you know elements that you, you do in a homebrew kit so we'll see how it goes and I need to go and lie down feel drunk thanks for watching see you soon